A dramatic arrest in the South Bay after a man suspected of having a gun leads officers on a chase. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee in for Barbara Lee Edwards. This all started around noon today in Chula Vista and that chase lasted more than an hour. News 8's Lamore Abrams is live at Chula Vista Police Department headquarters with what we're learning tonight. Lamore. Hey, Marcella, that's right. The suspect is now in police custody, but not after quite a bizarre slow speed chase here through the streets of Chula Vista. Take a look at this. We shot some video earlier for you. Our chopper right above it. It all started about noon today when someone called police to report a man showing off a gun, as you mentioned, Marcella, from his car. There was an altercation of some sort and police responded, made contact with the suspect's car, but the guy just wouldn't stop. And for nearly two hours of leading police on this slow speed chase through city streets and freeways, barely going even 50 miles per hour on the freeway. In his minivan, the suspect comes to a stop at 3rd Avenue near Moss Street because, well, he had nowhere else to go. Blocked by a semi-truck and the sidewalk, police surrounding his van, guns drawn. Suspect gets out of his car, tries to run when police take him down and take him in. Now, as is standard protocol, when police use any type of force, paramedics took the guy into the hospital to make sure he's okay. Police say he's got some minor injuries after police had to forcefully cuff him. But as of a few minutes ago, police tell me they still don't have an idea on this guy, but they do know for sure that the chase is totally unrelated to the one that happened here the other day. Again, a quite a bizarre pursuit here in Chula Vista, coming to a very peaceful end. Back to you, Marcella.